everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stocks Wish and I wanted to do uh, another look at a chart here for Adam who had emailed me <clears throat> the other day. Basically he looked at a chart I had of the QQQs in a webinar I did a long time ago actually but you could look at any chart. I'm just going to pick GoPro here because it's a good example because Adam's question was how can you be certain that basically you can consistently do gaps in a certain way because he looked at the bullish gaps and the bearish gaps and he looked at the down gaps and he said there was about 50 50 meaning like that if the stock gapped down you can see the stay here it was green so he was saying well if i look at these like it was green here and it was green here and this day which was two days ago and he's saying you couldn't have shorted these to make money for example and but then there's other ones you could have shorted to make money. How do you know? And he was basically saying it's 50-50. Let me just open up the whole chart here, actually, with the GoPro. This is actually not even been in existence that long. But it's still a good chart because there's a bunch of recent gaps in it. But the reason I picked this was because I did look at GoPro yesterday. I did not short it, okay? It never had an entry to go short in it. So there are times when a stock gaps down but I don't play it. I may rate it and two things may happen. One, I might rate it and it doesn't rate for my system. It may rate under 20 points, 20 is the cutoff, in which case then I would never short it. Or I rate it. The stock might rate good enough to short, but then it never sets up to short. So then I never short it. So then I never lose any money, but I don't go long it, okay? So it's a combination of A, the rating system, which tells you you can watch the gap but then you still have to get the entry because it may never set up to be a short. And this didn't on the day. And I never called it in the room and we never did it short. But I did call it as a continuation gap today. And you could have actually shorted this today. So you could have actually shorted this today if you wanted to on Friday. And I don't think it broke the low yet. Yeah, it broke the low by three cents, but this is, this is gonna continue, okay? Very often if a gap rate's good, it will continue and follow through. But not every gap rate's good that gaps down. Again, it has to be 20 points or more. I didn't short this this day. You have to look at each gap individually. And that was the point I was trying to make in the previous video. Not Everything's different. It's like you can't live in a vacuum. You can't just say, because it's gapping down, I'm going to short it. Or because it's gapping down, I'm going to buy it. Or because it's gapping up, I'm going to short it. Because it's gapping up, I'm going to buy it. You rate the gap. And then on top of that, you have to have the entry. Let me go back to the GoPro from yesterday. So it's, 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 it's a combination of things. And I'm looking at different stocks every day. So I'm not looking at every day in GoPro. I'm looking at a, a different symbol every day I'm doing. So it's like, you know, there could be a million gaps in GoPro, and I don't, I don't look at them all because I'm only looking at whatever I'm looking at on that given day. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, so... I never called a short in this, and in the live moment, we, well, we did something else. BBY was better. But anyways, I never called a short in this at all. This opened a reverse swoosh, so there's nothing to do here. But it wasn't a long, okay? You couldn't have gone long this and made any money. So there was nothing to do here with this this day. It's not a proper long. And that's the other thing. This is very important. And Adam, I'm doing this video for you, and I'll tell you this right now. This is extremely important for anyone out there that's listening to me that wants to learn my system. Just because the body of the bar on any day is green, for example, doesn't mean there was a proper long entry. And just because the body of a bar ha is red doesn't mean it was a proper short entry. Many people don't even understand what I'm talking about, but I'm telling you, it is the case. The reason I am so good at making money and trading on the one minute chart is because I have the right stock, a good gap, and it gives me the entry. And it's like perfect, okay? There is no proper long entry on GoPro. Yes, the bar traded green on the day, but it doesn't mean it had a proper entry to go long where you can take an entry, put the stop, holds the stop, and goes to the target. You gotta have that when you're day trading. Otherwise, you're like, woo, you're just like going long or short into the wind, and where do you put the stop, and where do you get out? I mean, this is what people complain about with stops and targets. They don't understand what to do. But most of the reason is they have no idea how to take entries, no idea how to look at targets, no idea how to look at support and resistance. But even if they did, 
they're looking at it in stuff that is completely not playable. Just because something had screen in it doesn't mean it had a proper long entry, in which case this didn't, and you couldn't have gone long GoPro that made any sense in anything two days ago. Today you could have gone short it, and it could have made sense, and you could have done it, and, and, and you could have done it. So, you know, you had to wait, though, because it was a continuation gap to do it in a higher time frame. So this is a 15-minute. Well, you probably could have done it in a five-minute, maybe I'm just being too conservative. You could have done this in a five-minute chart today, beautifully as a short. Look at it. And the, I mean, this went to the target. So this made sense. Nothing made sense from the previous day. So it's, it's just, this is the kind of stuff you learn from me, but there's a good example. It's not just looking at something and saying, oh, it was green, therefore you could have bought it, and it's a gap fill. No, gap fills don't work. Just because it's green doesn't mean it had an entry to go long. It didn't, and nothing in this was right. You don't play it. You leave it be, boom. Do something else. I shorted BBY. But you could have actually shorted this today, and it made sense, and it worked, okay? And, you know, there's lots of gaps in charts, but you don't play them all. You play the ones that rate well, and the ones that rate well still have to set up, and not everything sets up. So this never set up as short, never touched it with a 10-foot pole. Anyways, hopefully that's a better explanation for you, Adam. And if anyone's interested in my Golden Gap class, email me at melissa.thestockswish.com. Next class is January 23rd and 24th. Have a great day, everyone.